everybody, it's Donnie here, and today we're watching part seven of chapter four of my epic diamond painting, the epic Hay diamond painting saga, Chronicles. <laughs> um, this is the fairy bubble painting by Josephine Wall, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer a tag. It's a 25 question tag. And if I don't finish it by the time this video is done, then I will finish it in the next one. So this section did take me uh, six hours and 40 minutes and 22 seconds. And that is a total of 20 of these squares. So 20 by 10. So uh, 10, 200? No. No, they're 10 by 10 squares, so that's 100 in each little square. So 2,000? 2,000 drills, diamonds were drilled in this section. So I'm getting better with having a chart on here at my timing. So let me start with these questions. <clears throat> Oh, that makes a total of 22 hours, 46 minutes, and 22 seconds that I've put into this um, diamond painting so far. The first question on the list is, who is Diamond Painting by Donnie? Well, it's me. And I incorporate my daughter as well, Teslin. She's five, and she's home with me all the time. She's in school right now. Um, not at this very moment, but my husband's home. <clears throat> He's watching her and my grandson right now. He was very kind enough to let me do what I needed to do in here and watch the kids. But this is just, it's just me. It's my passion. And when I have a passion, I go all out and I put everything into it. Um, I love diamond painting and... So that's just me. I don't know how else to answer the question. It's um, best as I can do on that one. This is the first time I've ever answered a tag too. So I'm not quite sure if I'm doing it right, but I'll do the best I can. Question two says, why did you start a YouTube channel? Well, I started this channel because I had noticed that there wasn't very much out there as far as um, questions and reviews and I mean there was a couple of channels that I'd seen and then I'm like well I could do one I've done a YouTube channel before I can do it in this when I when I'm passionate about something I I um, know that I can make something work and I've made it work so far so I think it was a good choice um, why and or how did you start diamond painting? Well, I was actually doing a cross stitch. Um, I finished my first cross stitch and then I was working on another one for a Christmas present. And I was actually looking um, for more patterns. And when I did that, when I was looking, this 5D cross stitch kept coming up and I'm like no that's not what I want that's not what I want that's not what I want. so eventually I'm like well what is this and I went to take a look at it and I decided hmm maybe I like this so I think I'll give it a try so I ordered one from Wish but I knew it was going to take a while to get here so I decided that I'd ordered one on Amazon and I actually went pretty big for my first painting I mean uh, not big to my to what my standard of big is now but for my first painting it was pretty big and it was a square drill so it was a challenge but I didn't know it was a challenge because it was my first and so I started doing it and I had my issues and then I um started looking on Aliexpress and realized um, that there was way more choices there and so I decided 
to order more and more and more and more and more. And that's where I'm at today. Um, do you have other ho- Number four, do you have other hobbies or interests? What are they? Um, yeah, I crochet, I knit, um, I do a little cross stitch, um, I do latch hook, I do punch needle, I quilt, I sew, um, I'm sure there's other, I mean, I've had many hobbies throughout the years and, um, But crochet has been my oldest hobby. I started that when I was 15. And my craft room is full of yarn and material. So I'm pretty eclectic there. But there's just, there's certain hobbies I just, I won't get into like scrapbooking. Because that, that would entail way too much. And I'm not creative. I am not creative to the point where if I don't have a pattern, I can't just make something up. That's just not me. Um, trying to think if there's any, Oh, color. I like to color. I like to do puzzles. Puzzles are a big thing for me. I love them. And, you know, having young kids in the house, I really can't keep a puzzle out. So I haven't done those in a while. But the table that I'm doing my, my diamond painting, all my diamond painting stuff on, was supposed to have been a table for me to do puzzles on in my craft room where it could be kept safe. But now it's for diamond painting, which is almost as good as a puzzle. Well, it's like a puzzle, but, you know, it's a long-term thing. It's not just I can do one puzzle and put it away. Diamond painting, I do one, and I got to do another one right afterwards. (laughs) So that's basically my hobbies. Oh, I like to read... And so now that they have audiobooks, I'm able to read while I'm diamond painting. Um, I actually dabbled in making some bath bombs at Christmas time. And so I have a whole bunch of stuff to make those. And I only did it the one time. So, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the extent. I like to do video games as well. I really am... Uh, a person who is a completionist. So when it comes to to games, I like to get the achievements. And I will play a game until I have every single achievement there is. And when I played World of Warcraft, which is an online game, and they came out with achievements, that actually brought me back to the game because I had stopped playing it for a while. And then I saw that they brought achievements into it and I got back into it all over again. And I got some of the hardest achievements there were possible. So yeah, video games is another big one. Um, I like to do things like crossword puzzles and word search. Not crossword puzzles, but word searches. Those are another thing I like to do. So yeah, I have a lot. (laughs) Um... Where, let's see... Oh, I was only number four. Great. Number five, what do your friends and family think about your diamond painting obsession and your YouTube channel? Well, I haven't really talked to my family about it. I've talked to one of my brothers and I just talked a bit about it for him for a little bit. And, you know, he just thinks it's neat. And my husband's starting to get a little bit more in tune with my diamond painting habit now that I've got some some paintings that are meant for him <clears throat> so when I'm done you know he'll have some nice paintings of things he likes and so he's starting to ask more questions and show a little bit more interest in it and being a little more understanding when I need quiet time to be able to do something like this but for the rest of my family um, I haven't really talked to him about it and I don't really have friends I mean I do have Uh, I do have a couple of friends that are really supportive of me. Um, My friend Rose, she actually posts in uh, on my page or in the group and she texts me about it every so often and thinks it's pretty neat. Um, And I made one for my friend 
And she thought that was pretty awesome because, you know, it was specifically for her. And But that's about all I've heard because I don't really talk to my friends too often because they're not exactly close. And yeah, it's mostly my family, the people that live in the same house as me. Um, number six, what are your favorite diamond painting related YouTubes? Okay. Um... Abstract Crafter, she's my YouTube uh, diamond painting best friend. We've really clicked and we support each other's channels and are really happy when we succeed and help each other out when we can. But her channel is still in its infancy and she's growing pretty fast. But then there's a Stitcherista. Um, Danielle, she's given me some um, great help, not just with um, questions I have for you, YouTube-related um, stuff, but also for... Um, hold on, Brayden. Okay, so the kids got away from him for a minute. <laughs> I'm back. Um... What was I saying? Oh, the YouTube channels. Yes, Stitchery said, run by Danielle, and she's really great. Um, she's been a great help emotionally. I'm supportive, and also with um, the, the ideas she has, and uh, I've I've gotten some helpful tips from her on the things that she does, and she comes to my channel and. Um, I think she's gotten some use out of my channel as well that has helped her. Um, but the diamond painting channels that are out there, there's not many. So there's also um, Crayola Picks and Diamond Mama, which were, I see Diamond Mama was the very first channel I watched because I was looking for a um, framing video and she had one up. Her and also Ro Roanna from DIY, Die Moon, DIY Moon Shop. Um, she also, they also had a framing video and that's where I really started getting into the diamond painting YouTube scene. And then I started watching um, uh, Kicking Cancer's Butt and Diamond Painting Ella on there. And I really hope I'm not forgetting someone. Um, Let's see. Uh, lo and then I started watching Lovecraft Forever, and she's had some great tips on there that I've I've gotten um, really good things that I've gotten from her, her videos as well that uh, I wouldn't have had had I not watched her channel. And then um, um, a newer channel has gone off my meds. She's great. She's funny. And I mean, she, she's creative. She, I've gotten some, you know, uh, information from her, um, that would be useful in certain situations that I would like to use. Um, I also, um, um, watch Diggy 415. There's, there's quite a few now. Um, Paul and Shannon's life, um, little snips. That's how I got into, um, doing the heaven and earth design because I started watching her. Um, I haven't caught up on these other people, but there are other channels like uh, Red Rose, uh, Preschool Teacher Addicted to Diamond Painting, Girls Only, Frutini, and I think Melissa Gershke, she does some diamond painting videos as well. So those are all people that I watch. Um, not all of them am I able to watch on a daily basis, but um, the ones that I am caught up on, I'm able to watch you know, their current ones, but the other ones I'm still trying to catch up on. So, um, they're all really good, um, resources for the diamond, diamond painting community and getting the information that I need or anyone else might need. So huh, that was a mouthful. Let's see. Um, number Okay, number seven. What are your favorite non-diamond painting related YouTubes? I really don't have any. Um, 
I used to watch a lot of the um, weight loss surgery channels where people have had weight loss surgery and talking about it because that was real important in my life back um, eight years ago when I had my surgery. And so I used to watch a lot of those all the time. But now it's like basically all diamond painting all the time. Um, I also, there were some uh, uh, knitting and crocheting boards I would watch, but I don't have any idea the names of them now because uh, I don't frequent them. But yeah, basically it's all diamond painting for me. <laughs> um, let's see, number eight. What are your favorite stores to buy diamond paintings, online and or real world? Well, I've bought a few from Michael's. It's not necessarily my favorite, but it's the only place that actually carries them. Um, there is a small shop here. Um, it's an art, it's called Art Palette something, but it's a small shop. It's not like there's a line of them or anything, but it's a small shop here in, in the nearby town where I live. And they actually have quite a few diamond dots that are not in Michael's. Um... Of course, you know, having a small shop like that, they're more expensive too. But that's where I got um, Teslin's very first diamond painting. It's a little tiny, I think. It's like three inches by three inches, so it's really small. And you can actually get them on the Michaels website. I saw them there. Um, so online, my favorite shops... Um, I, I do like poster LOL. Um, abs, um, the, um, unknown artisan, his shop as well. Also, uh, if I'm going on AliExpress, huacan has been really good to me so far. Uh, I haven't actually been able to get to doing one of their, uh, paintings, but what I've received from them so far has been top notch. Also, of course, Ever Moment is good quality. I mean, almost the best quality, but they're a little expensive, so I don't really like to shop on them. But Home Fun, H O M F U N, and Anna's Store, those are really good shops I like to get from on AliExpress as well. Now, Amazon, I there's there's shops that I'm still um, feeling out, but Jolly Life is really good. And uh, Squaler, I just got something from them that was just, I was so impressed. It was awesome. Um, and uh, there's another one on AliExpress called Home Deco, I think it is. I did a review on them, but they were, they were, they really impressed me as well. I, my list goes on. I have several favorites, but Who Can is the one I've ordered from the most just because of their low prices. Um, number nine, what is your favorite diamond painting so far, complete or incomplete? Well, I'd have to say my favorite so far is my color dragon that I started doing the time lapse on. I haven't gotten to do it in a while because I'm still trying to catch up on putting everything away and getting my, this diamond painting here that you're watching squared away, which has been quite, quite, um, a large task but now I'm starting to get things in order and I'll be able to start doing it again it's a beautiful colorful dragon and I really would like to get it done so I can put it get it framed and put on the wall but that was my favorite um, and it is incomplete number 10 do you have a job outside of YouTube well like abstract crafter said yes I have a full-time mommy job taking care of my daughter and it is a full-time job, especially with some of her special needs. She's a very big challenge. And um, just being a stay-at-home mom is very challenging for somebody with the, the issues that I have with my chronic pain and my um, the damage to my spine and my neck. It makes it really hard to do... Um, some of the things that she requires and, and I'm going to have to pause a second. Hold on. I have a question. Can a 
hold on, hold on. And there, I got distracted just a tiny bit, but that's that's my daily life. And it helps when my husband has a day off so he can help keep an eye on her, um, which he was trying to do, but she snuck in here. <laughs> but um, I generally let her be a part of everything and try to limit now I'm I'm trying to limit it so that she's not overtaking everything because it, it can get overwhelming but she is my pride and joy and I take care of her and I I don't have a day off ever because she's my 24/7 job. I mean, yeah, she's going to preschool right now. She's gone 3 hours uh, 4 days a week, but um that time goes by so fast. I It's gone before I know it and I haven't gotten anything done. But I don't mind her being here. I just um, sometimes need like 25 minutes of quiet time so I can do a voiceover. <laughs> but she's my job. Um, I don't think of it as a job just because she's my life. And who thinks of their life as a job? You know, everybody lives. It's what they do because it's second nature you breathe you live I take care of my daughter that's all part of the, the whole package so yeah that's my job but it's not outside of the home and YouTube is something that, that my YouTube channel is something I have taken very seriously and I put a lot of time and effort into it so next question is tell us about your family number 11 well um you know about Teslin. She's five and a half. She starts kindergarten in a couple of months. And then there's Stephanie. She lives with me because she's going to school. She's 24. And she wants to do, um, she wants to get into making video games. So she's going to school for that. She has one more year. And then I have my oldest daughter, Ayla. She's almost 26. Um, but she's still 25 for a few more months and she works in healthcare like I did. Um, she loves her job and she has a boyfriend that she's been with her boyfriend. She's been with for seven, seven years. Yeah. Almost seven and a half years now. No, it's, it'll be seven years in September. Okay. And they have Brayden, who's going to be three in October, my one and only grandson. And then I have my husband, Jim, and he is a sales manager at a um, well-known department store. And then my dad, he lives about an hour and a half from me with my stepmom. And her son lives in the same town with them, and he's got a little girl, and she's two. And then his wife, they all live down there. And then my brother, I have one brother that lives about an hour north of me, and then another brother that lives in t the town close to me with his wife and their three boys. And then the, my brother that lives an hour north, he has a daughter who lives uh, about three hours from me and she's got a little girl as well so my dad has two great grandchildren one from my brother my brother's daughter that's his only child and then the one from my daughter and then of course um, if you've watched any of my videos or listened to any of my voiceovers from my videos you'll know my mom passed away about almost it's almost two years ago now but it's a real sensitive subject and really hard for me to talk about sometimes um oh and then how could i forget my sister she lives up in washington so she's a good five six hours from here and she's got my niece and nephew and then her husband as well he has a son that i consider my nephew as well because he's been in the family so long and he's like 16 now but he, this is about to end, so I'm going to cut this off right here. And I hope you enjoyed um, hearing me ramble, watching me complete this these 2,000 drills. And now after I get this posted, I can do a live drill with me. I just didn't want to do it before you guys saw the progress I made on this first. So I will see you soon. 
and we can talk person to person. Bye-bye, guys.